Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel, What the Beck. Today we're going to be making this super cute, adorable, little crabby guy. And this is a free pattern, but if you prefer a printable version, that is available on my Ravelry, which is Edible Wishes 12. Thank you for showing that, Mr. Crab. But yeah, um, you can support me by buying that printable, or you can keep watching for the free version. You will need some red or blue or whatever color you want to use to make the crab worsted weight yarn. Some stuffing or even yarn scraps will work because it's a really small project and you won't need that much. You'll need a 5mm crochet hook. There you can see that. And some scissors. And this one here is kind of a 3 for 1. You'll need some safety eyes, a stitch marker, and a needle. Um, any size eyes will work as long as you like how they look. So no particular size is needed, but I think I used a 10 millimeter eye for mine. So we're gonna start by making the bottom piece or the belly. And on a real crab, this piece is usually a lighter like cream or tan color. So you can choose to do that if you would like to. I'm just gonna do red cause it's a little bit faster and simpler. And I'm going to start by making a magic circle or magic ring. And you can slow this down and uh, kind of learn how to do that from that. But I will be making a how to crochet series soon, I promise. But just for now, look in the bottom right corner and you can see how to do it by slowing down the video. So once you have that out of the way, you're going to do six single crochets into the magic ring like so. And once you have six, you're going to pull on the tail to tighten it and add your stitch marker to the end of the round and the final stitch there. Just like that. <laughs> and now you're going to be doing the next row, which is just a bunch of increases. So in each stitch, you're going to do two single crochets for a total of 12 stitches. And I like to work over my tail when I do this part because it's one less thing to weave in or worry about coming loose. So yeah. In row three, we're going to be doing one single crochet followed by an increase. And we're just gonna repeat that six times until we get all the way around our row. Then for the last round of this bottom piece, which is row four, we're gonna do two single crochets in a row and then an increase. And just like the other row, we're going to do that six times total to go all the way around our little crab piece. So this is the last row of the piece, so instead of putting our stitch marker back on, we're going to just slip stitch into the next stitch and then make a little knot by yarning over and pulling through and uh, cutting our yarn. And you don't need very long of a tail for this, you only need about an inch or so because we're just going to be tucking it into the crab anyways. Next, you're going to make the top piece, which is pretty much the same as the bottom piece, except for a few changes. So do the same four rows as the bottom piece, but do not finish off. Leave the yarn attached. And pause the video and come back, and I'll help you to do the legs and stuff. Hey, welcome back. So to do the legs and stuff, you're going to first need to do one more row of single crochet around the top of your piece. So this will give the crab a bit of like a lump shape and allow you to put some stuffing in him. And it's really simple, just do one single crochet in each stitch around. Now we're going to kind of flip the piece so that it's making a little cup shape. And you're going to take your bottom piece, flip it upside down, you can tell if it's upside down because it will have this kind of like spiraling pattern on it. And yeah, so take that piece, have it upside down, and then kind of sandwich that tail in there with the other piece. So put them one on top of the other. And you're going to put your hook through the first stitch 
on your top piece and the last stitch of your bottom piece which will be that slip stitch from before so you'll have basically five loops on your hook you're going to yarn over and pull through four loops like so and then yarn over and pull through two to make your first single crochet you're going to do one more of those again going through both layers now we're going to make our first leg and the leg instructions are on screen here you just chain five and then you're going to skip the first stitch and going into the back bump of the second chain you're going to do a single crochet and you can see me kind of struggling with this here um, it can be a little tricky but just take your time and you'll be able to get it and then you're going to single crochet in the next three chains till you get back down to the body so a total of four single crochets you're going to do one single crochet into the layers of the body and to get four little legs like this we're going to just repeat that and the single crochet three more times and like magic i have it done now we're going to single crochet into the body one more time so we have two after the final leg and continue the pattern by making the claw which you make the claw by doing a chain of seven skip the first chain and do a single crochet in the second and third for a total of two for now because next you're gonna do another chain of three um, in the pattern this is referred to as the new chain you're gonna then do two single crochets into your new chain again skipping that very first chain and this makes his little pinchy claw and then back into the original chain you're gonna do four single crochets after you make that claw you're gonna do six single crochets into the layers of the body all in a row make sure you don't skip any just check as you go to make sure you're not missing any stitches and for the other half of the crab we're gonna basically mirror what we've done on this other side so we're at the point where we would make our next claw and you could just follow the row counts on screen to do the rest of the crab now usually i would make the other claw first but for some reason when recording this i decided to do it now so let's put the eyes on the crab so it can see and I basically do this by lining up uh, where that like front edge of the claw is. I go up two rows from the edge and put it in there. And then, like I said, I usually do it with the claw added, but for some reason I put it in right now. Um, look, see if you like the position. And if you do, you're gonna put the backs on your safety eyes and the crab now has a sole. So you get to cope with that and whatever happens from him is kind of partially your fault so after that you're going to put some stuffing and guts in him um, you can use yarn guts but i my pieces were too big so i just used mostly stuffing this time you don't have to add all of it at once um, just add a little bit for now and then continue following the pattern After you've got all your legs done, you're going to do eight single crochet to finish off your crab. And I apologize if you took a screenshot and you got confused. I didn't realize I wrote it down wrong until filming. So yes, you do single crochet to the whole round of the crab, not leaving a hole in its butt. Um, but you can use the hole now to put some more stuffing in if you need it or take some out if you think you put too much. But yeah, just single crochet all the way to the end, making sure you get into each stitch. And um, when you're done, you basically just slip stitch to the end and finish off with a tail long enough to sew in. And you can finish up the crab, or you can do the method that I like to do, which is the invisible join. So to do that, you're going to just thread your needle and find the first stitch of the round, go through both loops like so, and then come back down 
through the top of your last loop and then you just weave in your end as normal um, putting it through at least three stitches to secure it um, and then just cut off the extra and now your crab can do crimes or good or eat ice cream or whatever you want um, let me know what your crab gets up to if he goes on any adventures or gets married or something. Post your pictures to the Instagrams and wherever and tag me because I want to see it. Also, yes, I'm from Maryland and I don't particularly love crabs, but I will eat them and they are pretty cute. So I made a couple of these to sell and I'll probably make some to give away too. And your crab says bye-bye.